What is up enthusiasts? It is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, but I had to wait until 2020. And why is that? Well, as of 2020, all of the Dinosaurs Alive attractions are extinct. Pun intended. Now, if you don't know what Dinosaurs Alive is, or just want a basic recap, from 2011 to 2013, Cedar Fair added a few of these attractions to a lot of their parks. Not all, but a few of their parks as well. They were basically these giant walkthrough attractions that featured animatronic dinosaurs as well as descriptions of the dinosaurs. It wasn't really as appealing as the parks originally thought, and in the past few years they have been removing these attractions, with the last ones being removed in 2019, which makes 2020 the first year without dinosaurs alive. So now, at a great amount of Cedar Fair parks, we have these vacant plots of land that used to hold animatronic dinosaurs, but now they could be the gateways for something brand new. This is Cedar Flags, and today I'm going to be talking about what could replace all of the Dinosaurs Alive locations at Cedar Fair Parks. Before we get into speculation mode, I do want to talk about two locations that have already been replaced at Cedar Fair Parks. The first location I want to talk about is Cedar Point. Cedar Point's Dinosaurs Alive was at a really unique place in the park. In fact, it was on its own island surrounded by the rest of the park. They replaced it with not an attraction, not a new area, but an entire area devoted to one attraction. This is Forbidden Frontier at Adventure Island. And while it's pretty hard to explain, I would sum it up as a new interactive area in the park. It's definitely more directed towards the kids and gives them something new to do. But now we're getting into King's Island's replacement. And I gotta say, King's Island's replacement is a lot better. Of course, it's a B&M Giga Coaster known as Orion. This monster replaced both Firehawk and the Dinosaurs Alive property. This is a truly massive coaster and one of the biggest coasters added in King's Island's lineup throughout its history. It's a pretty major expansion and is set to open later this year in July. But every single one of these other parks, we have absolutely no idea what's going to replace these attractions. So let's get into speculation mode and see what can replace the undiscovered Dinosaurs Alive attractions. The first park I wanna talk about is Canada's Wonderland and this one is pretty easy. There's no designated plot of land for Dinosaurs Alive, but instead it's just one continuous trail and that trail surrounds Kitty Land. So logically I could see a Kitty Land expansion replacing the little trail for Dinosaurs Alive who knows, it could be something similar to what Cedar Point did in 2014, where they could adapt family rides into their Kitty Land area and maybe soup it up a little. This wouldn't be that much money to complete. But the next one will be a lot bigger. This is Carowinds. And if you don't know, Carowinds is Dinosaurs Alive, was snuggled in between Afterburn and Intimidator. So it's in an area where there are a lot of roller coasters, so it's pretty hard to tell what would replace the Dinosaurs Alive property. And I have to say, I think there's going to be another coaster there. In fact, I think a modern GCI wooden coaster would be a perfect replacement for the Dinosaurs Alive in Carowinds. I could see something similar to a twister layout like Renegade at Valley Fair. And here's why. There are a few reasons that I want to talk about why I feel like a GCI roller coaster would be a perfect fit at this park. Charlotte Fort Mill, that area is rapidly expanding. It is one of the fastest growing areas in the country and the population of Charlotte alone is about to surpass a million people. But anyway, another good reason would be the park itself. GCI, Great Coasters International, has a great relationship with Cedar Fair, providing lots of great roller coasters in the park. It would provide that quick pop of ejector that a lot of Carowinds enthusiasts are craving. And even though that Intimidator and Fury might be better, this roller coaster would provide something completely different. The park truly needs a modern wooden roller coaster, which is not what they have right now. For this attraction though, I could definitely see it being added in the mid 2020s, maybe even the early 2020s if Cedar Fair really wants to expand. But the next park is a little more complicated. It's King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. Now, this one was by far the hardest one to figure out what would replace this area because King's Dominion is currently working on a whole other plot of land on the complete opposite side of the park. This plot of land used to hold the park's most popular attraction, Volcano the Blast Coaster. So I think they're gonna take care of that and finish everything there before they even start touching the Dinosaurs Alive property. Other than that, the Dinosaurs Alive location is a very weird area of the park. 
basically you have to go through a building and then you have to go past the grizzly entrance and then go past the go-karts and you're at dinosaurs alive if you've been to king's dominion you know exactly what i'm talking about it's not necessarily directly off the midway so if i were to predict something to replace this plot of land it would have to see the removal of the go-karts as well because that would open it up to the midway and it would allow a lot more for that area of the park and i truly feel like after all of that is removed a good revamp of this side of the park could happen basically what i could see in this area of the park is probably this is a very light prediction but a gerslauer infinity coaster i feel like it would be a perfect fit for the park but don't add the dive option because that would be too similar to Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, which is their park's direct competitor. But anyway, yeah, that one was a little complicated and I wouldn't anticipate this for a very long time. But anyway, let's move on to Dorney Park in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So this one is pretty interesting too, since the park doesn't really expand that much. And I know that this prediction right here is going to be a little controversial, but I could see, like Carowinds, a GCI wooden roller coaster come to this park as well. See, this would be a perfect fit for this park. Now, I'm not talking about a pretty big GCI, but I'm actually talking about a scaled down version of Mystic Timbers, maybe something similar to White Lightning at Fun Spot. And here's why. I know Cedar Fair doesn't want to put as much money into parks like these, which is understandable, but they could fork out at least a little bit of money and maybe put a decent sized family style GCI here. It would be a great fit as it would provide some great ejector airtime and might actually be a lot of people's favorite attractions at this park. But anyway, moving on to the next park I'm going to be talking about, it is Worlds of Fun near Kansas City in Missouri. Now, this park is pretty interesting because it is a pretty small park too, but I could see something small coming here as well. So basically, the Dinosaurs Alive plot is right next to the water park, and you know where this is going. I could see a good water park expansion coming to this park. Maybe revamp the water park entrance, and add a few more small attractions to this park. Cedar Fair likes to work a lot with Whitewater West. I could see maybe one of those Boomerango water slides coming to this park, and maybe a water coaster if they really wanted to play their cards right. They could really expand Oceans of Fun if they wanted to, maybe add one of those cliff diving platforms that's going to Canada's Wonderland, and give a whole re-theme to the water park like Cedar Fair has been doing. But the final park I wanna talk about is Valley Fair in Minnesota near Minneapolis. This one, I really thought about. If Cedar Point really wanted to expand this, this would be the perfect plot of land for a brand new roller coaster, something that would revamp the front gate. But I'm sorry, Valley Fair fans, I don't think Cedar Fair is up for that. Instead, I think they could add a decently sized flat ride, maybe something similar to Delirium at King's Dominion, add that near the front of the park and make it a little shiny, so it will attract a lot of guests. This park already has a great flat ride collection. Why not expand it? But anyway, this is Cedar Flags. I really hope you enjoyed this video. These all were my honest thoughts and opinions on what could replace Dinosaurs Alive attractions. Take this video with a grain of salt. And so let me know what you think will replace your home park's Dinosaurs Alive in the comment section. So I will see you guys later. This is Cedar Flags. Bye bye